uh, today I would like to analyze the, um, the possibility of the new another uh, world war, the glo global uh, war. Uh, yesterday I have read uh, an interview, Zelensky's interview for German newspaper The Welt, and uh, he has said that uh, China is supporting Russia with uh, and supply China's uh, supplying Russia with uh, the weapons it can create a new uh, global war and a uh, very uh, dangerous uh, war possibility. I think that the, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, uh, has right. Uh, and, uh, and I think that after, uh, after the Russian Federation invaded to Ukraine, uh, the, the People's of Republic China, including People's of Republic China, Islamic Republic of Iran and North Korea, um, have supported Russia uh, and it is war against Ukrainians, against sovereign Ukrainian state. It's very dangerous. I, and on the other hand, I think that if China um, allies itself with Russia, it means that uh, it means that in the near future we can see the global war, a global war between uh, Russia and, uh, uh, and the Western coalition, which uh, which uh, is supporting Ukraine with weapons and uh, uh, and economic uh, reliefs. From this point of uh, view. Um, and I think uh, also pragmatic. Uh, I think also I, I think also pragmatic. Uh, China's uh, assessment. Uh, but uh, as you know, the, the Secretary of the United States of, Mer of America, uh, Antony Blinken, has warned China and has warned his China, China's counterpart uh, about supporting Russia with uh, weapons. But China insisted that the United States of America has not. Uh, hasn't right uh, is not in any position to make demands, uh, and it means that China has scare, has fear, and and I think that China thinks that after Russia, the Western countries can attack on China and can divide China into small pieces, small parts, uh, and and the Republic of China and Beijing, the Communist Party leader, is aware of this uh, fact. That's why uh, they will continue to support Russia to su supply uh, Russian military with modern weapons and uh, and the plenty of ammunition uh, ammunition uh, materials. And on the other hand, as you know, Russian President Putin has also warned Western countries that Russia will suspend it is um, uh, will suspend the. Uh, the uh, nuclear armed uh, control treaty it's called start uh, and it is a bilateral uh, treaty uh, bilateral treaty uh, the controlling uh, over uh, uh, nuclear uh, uh, warheads nuclear weapons uh, and russia russian president putin has uh, delivered uh, the warning um, as today delivered a warning to russian uh, assemble a Russian military and uh, political elite that Russia will suspend. Uh, Russia doesn't leave this treaty, but Russia will suspend his its activity on this uh, treaty. It is called, as you know, the start. Uh, and I think that uh, after this action, after Putin's deliver, and Russia can in any time can Russia test its nuclear warheads and nuclear weapons. It's very dangerous. But the United States of America has uh, has answered to Putin's commitment, comments, uh, and has answered to Putin's uh, sayings that no one will attack on Russia, and there is any kind of possibility the war the war between the United States of America and uh, the the U.S. Uh, the Western coalition led by the United States of America, Washington. But uh, I think it's I find. Uh, I find Putin's uh, comments uh, dangerous enough for the global security. And uh, yesterday the, uh, we have uh, we have read uh, Volodymyr Zelensky's interview to German newspaper The Well. And today Putin uh, has delivered the, the the nuclear warning, nuclear warning. And uh, I think that we have to to call uh, this nuclear warning to Western countries and the United States of America. Uh, I think that uh, right now there is a nuclear uh, war possibility for for uh, for the world. It's very dangerous, 
It's very dangerous. Uh, as you know, the, the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, was yesterday in, in, the, in Kiev and he has met his Ukrainian counterpart in, in the capital of Kiev, in the, in the capital of Ukrainian. And he has uh, additionally um, uh, signed a, a decree and the United States America will give uh, more than 500 million uh, for Ukraine. And they, 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 the Western countries, especially the United States of America and the United Kingdom, the uh, Great Britain uh, will supply until the end. Will supply Ukraine with uh, with uh, weapons until the end. And I think that Putin uh, and the Russian dictator uh, understands this reality, this fact. And uh, as I said, as you know, uh, after after uh, a few days, we will uh, we will uh, uh, we will see uh, we will witness. The year, the anniversary of the war, the, the Putin's brutal war in Ukraine, um, and a year ago I had uh, I had said that uh, this war continues uh, um, approximately uh, two or three years, but after uh, these events, uh, after the uh, Biden's visit to the United States, uh, Biden's visit to, to Ukraine yesterday and his meeting with uh, the Ukrainian President Zelensky. And today, Putin's, uh, as you know, has delivered the, the nuclear uh, warning to Western countries. Uh, and they say that the Western countries, uh, they use Ukrainian uh, political elite uh, and Ukrainian people, and they want to destroy uh, the Russian Federation. Uh, that's why Russia and Putin's country and Putin's, uh, Putin uh, wants to. Uh, Putin said that they they now uh, it's clear that they they wanted um, defeat Russia on the the battleground. Uh, that's why they use uh, Ukraine and he, uh, the uh, the government, the last government in, in in Kiev. I think that uh, the situation is uh, is too dangerous. Uh, and uh, as I said, the, the, the war uh, the, the war could continue uh, until uh, 2025. It's very dangerous for the global security, for all mankind, and for uh, the global uh, uh, economy. On the other hand, Islamic Republic of Iran supports Russia with uh, weapons, with drones, and uh, other uh, materials. And China, North Korea, uh, and and so on. Um, in conclusion, I would like to express my ideas that the, the situation uh, in the world is very, mm, is very dangerous and we are aware of these events, uh, the situation. Uh, I think that the relations between Western countries and, uh, and the, Russian, the Russian Federation and also in the near future the, with the, Republic of, the People's Republic of China will be very, very dangerous. And uh, I think that... Uh, uh, right today, as um, I have said, Putin has suspended that uh, Russia's participating in the START uh, treaty. Uh, as you know, that the, 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 con the control uh, over uh, nuclear uh, armor systems. And what does it mean? It means that the, in the near future, uh, the situation in the world is very, very dangerous and we can see the, the global war, but I hope that at the end, at the the uh, the global powers, the the uh, the, the countries, uh, nuclear powers, especially, they will come together and they will discuss. And I think that I hope that it's my hope. At the end, uh, they will find a solution uh, to uh, to this problem as possible as I can, as as uh, as I uh, as I say. Uh, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult. We have to acknowledge uh, that it's difficult enough. And uh, I think that right now um, we can't expect any kind of solution uh, to the, the Ukrainian war. Um, from my point of view, this war will continue approximately a few years, two or three or four years, but the, a lot of people are, are are being killed in Ukraine and civilians are killed in Ukraine. A Russian dictator will continue its, his brutal war against Ukrainian country and also against European country. And 
the situation, the political situation also, uh, economic situation in Moldova is very difficult. They, Russia can plot a coup data in this country because Russia has the fifth column in, in this country. And uh, the Maya Santo government, the pro-Western uh, uh, government, can be toppled, toppled from power through the help of uh, the Kremlin, of the Russian Federation. And that's why it's very difficult. And uh, the situation, the global security is uh, is uh, very difficult. But we hope that uh, at the end, uh, the global powers will come together and discuss, and they will be able to find solution, the final solution to these problems as possible as they 